Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're gonna to cover a single cooler about Thermarray, the Phantom Spirit 120. In this video, we'll cover the looks, installation observations, and end with the cooler results. In regards to looks, the Phantom Spirit 120 is a dual tower cooler with a flat heatsink top and two 120 millimeter fans. There are other styles of the Phantom Spirit that offer slight performance differences with slight variations in looks. This version of the cooler does not have ARGB lighting, but there are other versions that do. In regards to installation, this cooler follows a standard installation design that makes it a breeze to install. The cooler has mounting brackets that then connect to the cooler at two connection points. In regards to how this cooler sounds, here's a 10 second audio clip with a fan at 100% fan speed. Now, we know you're here to see how this cooler performs, so let's dive into it. We will first compare this cooler to the average cooler, and then show you the results based on coolers of the similar weight class. For each compare, we will show the coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and show two sets of charts, one that looks performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks performance normalized by sound. In a first set of charts normalized by percent speeds against the average of all coolers tested, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Phantom Spirit in red does materially better than the average cooler in blue. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the cooler's advantage widens. Additionally, we can see that the Phantom Spirit is slightly quieter between 60% and 90% fan speed. When we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this cooler handles the lows at the higher RPMs, while the average cooler cannot. In our second set of charts normalized by sound against the average cooler, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, we can see that the Phantom Spirit provides more cooling for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 105 watts, we can see that this difference grows. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. Next up, we compare the Phantom Spirit to a few other coolers in its weight class, including the Deep Cool Assassin 4, the Noctua NHD15, and the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. At idle, the Phantom Spirit performs similar to the NHD15 at the low RPMs. When we push the CPU to 105 watts, we can see that the Phantom Spirit begins to outperform the Dark Rock Pro. However, the NHD15 and Assassin 4 have a slight advantage in terms of cooling. In regards to sound, the Phantom Spirit is on the quieter side. When we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. Next up is our chart normalized by sound. At idle, they all have a similar profile. And when we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see only minor temperature differences for a given noise level, with the Phantom Spirit being only slightly hotter for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this gap widens. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this video comparing the Phantom Spirit 120 versus the Phantom Spirit Evo. And if you found value in this content, I invite you to support this channel by hitting that like button or subscribing. Your support is appreciated.